second or third I think is the best but they're going to push themselves right to the limit you can see riders dropping off now job done they only need five to cross the line for the time Ekimov has peeled off on the far right there now the most important thing is of course that Lance Armstrong finishes with those five riders Floyd Landis also here and looking good as they drive up to the line they've just popped down into second place but they'll be coming across the line quite clearly in second place putting Fasa Bortolo down into third with two teams still to finish the arrival of US Postal they'll be well satisfied with this day one at 2005 they pulled a lot back over the last 10 kilometers there in fact only losing just over 15 seconds to Onse at the end of the day so they pulled themselves back a good 20 seconds over the last seven kilometers of racing and I'd say a lot of that went down to George Hinkepi, Lance Armstrong and Yatislav Ekimov the important thing though is not losing today's stage but keeping the team together as a collective they will have high morale tonight they will be happy with this performance we now look again at uh, CSC to Scarly. And I'm just wondering if, in fact, Sansa has come back here, Paul. We'll keep an eye out for him because uh, it looks like they might have eight riders still in this group now. CSC head up towards the Czech. Tyler Hamilton was definitely in there. Hamilton, by the way, wears number 52 in the Tour de France this year. His uh, team leadership was given to Laurent Jalabert. Now look at that. They've actually lost time going through there. They've dropped down to third place at the 60-kilometer point, 53 seconds behind. Amazing the turnaround in the books. But as we've been saying, as I've been stressing since the start of this team time trial, Phil, it is so important to keep as many men together as possible. Losing those two men has lost the time trial today and the yellow jersey for Laurent Jalabert. And Kofidis now with David Miller on board. They've lived up to the name, they put in a much better performance than they did one year ago in the Tour de France, even so. They're currently in fifth place, uh, that'll be when CSC come home. So if they're going to hold on to fifth, they must be at least coming in now with the fourth best time. As again, they're standing their men, one off the back, as they keep the top five together. Andrei Kivalev and David Miller, the powerhouses here, still in there as they race up towards the line. Fifth at the check at 60 kilometres. And to hold it, they must cross the line now with the fourth best time. It's been a fairly solid ride by Cofidis. They had a good middle sector to the course, lost it a little bit over these last 10 kilometers or so. But it might be they get a good sprint out of it. Fourth, they must cross the line in fourth if they want to hold on to fifth by the end of the day. Big sprint required for now. The fifth time, fifth the rider is where the clock will stop, and they'll get it. So they will make the final fifth. 1-21-33 for Miller's Cofferty's team. Situation with one team to finish. Onse, our best team. US Postal second, uh, Fasa Bortolo third. That's good news for riders like Ivan Basso in the Fasa Bortolo team as well. And this team of Laurent Jalabert, he doesn't have always have bad days in the Tour. He can remember many good days in the Tour de France. And he knows the uh, fortunes of a professional cyclist Despite all of the progress we have made with the lightest equipment in the world, we can't yet cure the cause of the common puncture. Well, there's some things that you uh, always have to throw in to keep the sport of cycling interesting, and that certainly has changed the books completely today for Laurent Jalabert. The Onsay's time of 1.19.49 has ticked by on the unofficial clock on the finishing line here, as we can look a little bit further down the road from our commentary position, and I think they've also gone outside the time of US Postal Service as well. Yeah, well, Paul's eyesight is absolutely amazing. I'm still looking for the clock, but never mind as well. Looking here at CSC, racing up towards the finish. And I think you're right. I think the time has gone by. Oh, Laurent Jalabert, the jaw set there as they drag this team in now as they head up towards the finish. There's still a lot of speed in this team. They put up a tremendous fight. There's two poor old Kelme riders tailed off by their team today. They are just finishing. They will get a, a pretty bad time to their individual classification. It's almost certainly third place, and if they can't match the time of Kofidis, but they'll do that. And so it looks like a third place finish for CSC. Bad luck uh, taking them perhaps off the leaderboard, or was it the consistency of the other two who persisted and beat them? Third, 1 20 35, and so the new Mayo Jean of the Tour de France will be Igor Gonzalez de Galliano in only his second Tour de France. 
And here's the result that put him there. The favourites, US Postal, beaten into second place by 16 seconds. CSC Tiscali third. And an excellent ride by David Miller's Cofferty's team to take fifth. Uh, uh, Solidaire. We were really good. We worked really well together. It was a, we've never been so motivated for a team time trial. And uh, we ride really well. We ride really as a team. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was. I wouldn't go as far as saying it was fun, but we are... Uh, I think I'm really happy with it. I think our team's shows how well our team's progressing, you know? It's a, it's a full unit now. Talking of full units, they might have lost Mikel Pradera to a puncture, but all nine on say riders were back together again on the podium, celebrating a result which has seen them colonize the leading places. Six of the top eight are on say riders, and one of the top one.